to provide the best possible experience for electric vehicle drivers, it really does make sense starting with a clean sheet of paper. Uh, I've been driving an electric car now for almost eight years. Uh, it's been an exciting experience. The vehicles are fantastic, but charging is, is quite challenging or has been. And so what we've been doing is designing, uh, designing a network of sites. This is the first, of, first electric forecourt really in the world that removes any of those challenges and disadvantages and just replaces that with you know, fantastic upside. There's only around you know, less than 2% of people today have an electric vehicle. Um, and the government has banned new petrol or diesel cars within nine years. So it's really that 98% um, who haven't worked it out that we're really catering for. Um, and you know, what we're, you know, to give someone the confidence to make the transition, they need to know that they can charge anywhere, that there's no inconvenience, um, that there's no worry, that they're gonna be able to charge, and, and that's precisely what we're doing. So you know, particularly for people who don't have the ability to charge from home, you know, which is around 40% of people, we, we understand, according to National Grid. You know, if we build an electric forecourt like this in the vicinity of, of somebody locally, um, then they know that they can charge without any anxiety, uh, and actually they can do it in a way that costs them less than petrol or diesel. Uh, which is something we're really excited about as well. All of the energy that's used on this site is either zero carbon generated you know, from the solar panel canopy above us or net zero, which is uh, generated in one of our solar farms, such as the one that's twinned with this 44 miles away, uh, that produces enough energy over the course of a year for, to drive 5,000 electric cars for an entire year. So yeah, 100% of the energy is net zero, uh, and that's absolutely key. Uh, and not only is it net zero, but it's also low cost. And so when you provide, you know, when you combine a much lower cost of energy with a much lower cost of using an electric car, that more than offsets the slightly higher cost to, to, to buy them in the first place. I don't need a 20 minute charge at home. All I need, all I need at home is somewhere where I can sleep. The car will, will charge while I sleep. If I'm going from A to B and I want to charge en route, then you need a fast 20 minute to 40 minute toilet stop, coffee stop, charge stop. Amazing place is it? Yeah. What can be worse? You're running out of fuel, electricity, you rock up at a charging station at 10 o'clock at night, you were just tired, you want to get home, and, and it's not working. You know, so there's one charger and it's not working, so what do you do then? You, you, you've got to try and find another charger, and, and you know, you may have another 10 miles before you find one.
even though I'm an EV enthusiast, I think probably some people would struggle at the moment. But obviously facilities like this are going to make it so much easier.